Hey guys, this is the new iDrive 7 view, the new infotainment system, or the new evolution of their infotainment system. Um, a lot better than the old one, definitely a bigger screen. Um, and it's set up to use either the old fashioned rotary control or full touch command, or touch controls, or however you want to say it. Um, pretty simple. So, of course, you got media. If it'll click for me, there we go. So, you have your Sirius, FM, AM, pretty simple music collection, USB, Bluetooth, screen mirroring, which is not a function that's available for iPhones right now that I know of, um, but for Android users, you can literally mirror the screen to the iDrive screen so you can sit here and park and watch YouTube videos. Um, and then pairing mobile devices up. Communication is where you access all your contacts and control all of that stuff. Navigation, pretty similar to the older system, just a much bigger screen. Uh, much smoother controls, more touch based. Car is all your settings, bits, bobs, pieces, like your driving information, vehicle status for all your service stuff. Settings for your general settings and things like that. And one of the important things on these that you need to make sure of is that your data privacy stuff is all turned on because otherwise uh, none of the internet based features like traffic info and um, some of the music based features don't work right. And then of course in here you also have your interior lighting controls which control your ambient color for the lighting. So you've got your bronze, orange, blue, lilac, and green which seems to be one of the prettier colors in here, I think. And then driver profiles. This is one of the newer things. They've had them in the past, but these actually link up with your connected drive account on BMW. Uh, so if you get a new BMW in the future, or you're using a car that has iDrive 7, like a loaner car from the service department, if you take your car in for service, you can just upload your profile to that new car temporarily and get all your settings, presets, uh, all that cool stuff. And then apps, and BMW's had these before, they're just located in a bit of an easier area to get to. You got your basic weather information. So weekly weather, and if you click it, it'll actually go to a daily based um, with evening, night, morning, midday, etc. News, and this only really works if you're in park. Uh, pulls up news from Reuters that you can read through. Um, software information, that's just licensing info for the whole software. Uh, meshes BMW might send you. BMW Assist, service request. Park Now, which in bigger cities like Atlanta, Chicago, New York, allows you to look for uh, parking spaces and uses algorithms to go, hey, these parking spaces might be available at these times of the day. And then BMW Connected, which lets you connect up and pull trips and schedule information from the BMW Connected app off your phone. And then you've got these new tiles here as well that you can customize. So, like, you can go click News and it'll pull up News. Or, if I can get back to the main menu, if you happen to hold on it, you can go and change it to one of these different things. It's like you have another clock in there. And change it up. And that is the basic overview of the iDrive 7.